What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today for you, I am bringing you my jewelry organization. Now I am in an RV and organization and storage is definitely sparse. So I have to figure out unique ways and I have this really cool organizational piece that I got from Amazon that goes behind your door. It's got a mirror and a door on it and I'm so excited to reorganize all of my jewelry into it and I thought I would take you guys along with me. If you're into this sort of thing, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that little bell. I do a lot of lifestyle, mommy, travel, organization videos and I would just love to have you guys. I'm going to be listing all of the products, information, all of that good stuff in the down bar below including my Amazon influencer link that has hundreds of favorites as well as my Etsy store and my website if you guys feel like depositing some positive energies give your girl a thumbs up I'd so appreciate it and question of the day is how do you guys store your jewelry do you guys have a thing behind the door do you use a jewelry box what do you guys do to store your jewelry let me know in the comments below even one little emoji means the world to me getting to know you guys is my favorite thing about YouTube and without further ado if you guys want to see how I organize my jewelry then just keep watching all right you guys let's hop into this video I am so excited to show you my perfect jewelry box well, I think it's perfect so that I got off of Amazon you guys know I absolutely love Amazon I do Amazon favorite videos here all the time I'm very well known for them I'll be linking a playlist for you guys down below if you want to check some of them out because I'm definitely gonna be adding this item to it now when I first got the box I was like ooh, I don't know maybe this might be a little too big <laughs> and then it ended up working out perfectly I needed it to be small enough to fit behind my door I'm in an RV so you know lack of space is definitely an issue here but look at it you guys I absolutely love it it's so perfect for my needs I would say if you guys are looking into getting one if you have the same you know amount in categories as I do of jewelry then consider this one but you know you want to think about how many earrings do you have how many necklaces do you have do you have shorter necklaces long necklaces there's so many variations on Amazon you guys can check out I'll leave a couple extra ones um, in the list down below for you guys so you can check those out as well but this one just worked out for my specific needs like I have a lot of earrings I have um, bracelets that I wanted to hang from this and then I have a lot of chokers and shorter necklaces for this section then at the top here is for rings but I'm also going to be sticking my studs in there and then this section here is for longer larger necklaces which I absolutely love and this was actually for jewelry now I am going to be putting my sunglasses in there instead of jewelry which I think just works out so much more perfect and it's going to be lighter on my door to put sunglasses there which I didn't want too much weight because I'm in an RV and things are always falling apart and then it comes with these two little drawers at the bottom which I will be showing you what I'm going to store in there a little bit later on but yeah I love it you guys so excited to pack this bad boy next up we are going to be going through all of this jewelry oh there's keys also to the jewelry box you guys there's a lock on the outside which is great but this is like the bin that it's been at the bottom of my closet I have not been able to get to my jewelry which is heartbreaking because I love jewelry I love statement jewelry I'm a rule breaker when it comes to jewelry I wear necklace earrings rings everything at the same time I don't really like people controlling what I wear or what I do that's just not my style and it's so funny when I see all of these like fashion videos 10 things you shouldn't wear I'm like get out of here I think wear whatever makes you happy girl because that's all that matters is making yourself happy you're not here to please anybody and I know I'm not now we're going through all of the bracelets which there's a lot of bracelet bracelets I love bracelets some of them are from Amazon some of them are from Stella and dot which I also love 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 Stella and dot jewelry I'll talk a little bit more about them later on in the video but yeah this is me just going through the thought process okay because there are some things that I it didn't work out and I just wanted to show you guys like me just testing things out and seeing how I feel about them and that's what I feel like organization is everything is trial and error you're not gonna just know exactly what you want to do I mean don't get me wrong there's been some times where I'm like wow that just worked out perfectly but it's rare you have to manipulate and put things places feel it out I mean even after it's all done you may want to switch things out after you have used it for a little bit I always say if it's not working lose it you always have to keep switching your systems until you find something that actually really really works for you so I ended up putting all of these jewelry pieces here these bracelets which I liked now one of the cons to this box is you cannot put like big round hard bracelets on there 
because it won't close. It needs to be able to be like flat and loose in order for the box to close. So that's why I'm sticking all of them in that little space there. And also the ones that are like cuffs and that don't have a full circle for you to like loop it on things. I also show you later on with my earrings what I had to do for my earrings that weren't like full circle either. This one was from Stella and Dot as well. And this one's from Amazon. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just love jewelry. This was such a fun video for me to do. So this is where I'm showing you guys those necklaces, excuse me, those bracelets that won't fit right here. So I'm going to make something here. I'm going to show you guys a little bit later on in the video because they wouldn't just stand up right there. I was like, what am I going to do? So I did figure out a beautiful solution. It turned out so good and it was from the dollar store, which is even better. But I just keep trying to figure out like, okay, where I'm going to put these? How is this going to sit? And yeah, it was definitely difficult, but it worked out beautifully. Most of my jewelry that you see, I always get questions on my designer pieces, like where I get them from. Most of them are from like Louis Vuitton, it's from the Louis Vuitton store. I got this Dolce & Gabbana one, I think at Nordstrom's or something years ago. This one's actually um, from Amazon, which is a look-alike. But I don't like getting the pieces that have like the actual logo, like that say LV. I just personally don't do it. I used to when I was younger, um, and then I decided to start you know, buying the real pieces because I could afford them. But I do not knock that at all. I think it's a great thing. Some people don't want to spend their money on that and there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like there's nothing wrong with people that do want to spend their money on that. So it's just kind of a personal preference. You have to make your own choices for yourself and let others live their life, you know? So um, yeah, I've been married for a long time and I've collected pieces over the years. It's I definitely enjoy it. I have not been buying a lot of pieces the last like year or two since we've been deciding to move into an RV. It's just not where our, my life is right now. Before quarantine, we were going on date nights and stuff like that. So, you know, I do enjoy having designer pieces at those times, but right now I have not used them at all. So I stuck these bracelets up here in hopes that they would fit and just trying to figure out what to do with the space, think of some creative ways and it was not working. So, all right, let's get back to this pile and start fixing this craziness there's some things that I'm probably gonna get rid of but now it's time to break it into the categories divided all of the earrings up and categorized everything so now it's so much easier to see I used the old drawers from the other jewelry box I was using that broke on me um, I had had it for such a long time but it finally went out because I think I stepped on it or dropped it or something so yeah so now I'm dividing all the earrings and we're going to find them a home I wanted to show you guys how I am looping my hoops on here. I'm just sticking them around and clasping them instead of putting them through because the door won't close, which I'm totally fine with. I think it looked good. And the only thing I had an issue with was the hoop earrings that weren't a full circle that had, you know, just the little, what is it called? The stud little piece right here. So I had to figure out a way, which I'll show you guys in a little bit what I ended up doing. Now I am just kind of playing with the earrings, seeing where I want them to go, deciding which colors I want to go first. Like normally in my closet I do black, white, gray, then pink, red, maroon, and then blues and pinks and stuff like that. That's just the colors I like to do it. That's my rainbow. Um, but in here I just, I don't know, I just couldn't decide and then I ended up going with what I normally do, which is exactly what I said, the black, the white, and all that. So you'll see me 
periodically change things in here just to um, you know make it look as best as possible because I do want it to feel good when I open it and it'll make me want to put things away more too so here's what I did and it looks good but then I started thinking about how much I have of each one how much I want for space for the future and all of that so then I changed it again of course I ended up putting my chokers down here exactly where I thought they worked out perfectly and I wanted to show you guys these little magnets that I put on my chokers and different necklaces that are harder to clasp. Um, they're amazing you guys I'll link them down below for you I actually put them in an Amazon favorites but I forgot to show the picture so I wanted to show you that all right next up we are getting into my DIY I went to the dollar store because I knew I needed to put those bracelets in something I also got these little hooks because I saw a few extra spaces I wanted to hang things I got this satin pillowcase because I thought I was gonna make little pillows for the bracelets to wrap around and maybe stuff it with this stuff I just didn't know so then as you can see I also have this mat this black mat in the back this is just a um, I think a rug for the front door I ended up going with this so I shaped it well I'm was sizing it up here to decide which size I needed to put inside I cut the edges off and then now I'm gonna roll it up and I'm gonna hot glue it I'm just measuring to make sure the bracelets are gonna fit on this little roll here and then I'm going to hot glue it down then I hot glued it like I said I was going to and now we're gonna cut this little loofah puff thing off there's little strings here and then we're going to stuff the little roll all right you guys here it is it's all full with the jewelry it looks so good I can't believe I made this using dollar store items I'm quite proud of myself and then look at that fits in here perfectly I was so excited <laughs> I love it and um, I do have a little bit of room to grow if I want to like squish everything together but I think it looks amazing next up I have these little hooks that I got from the dollar store I am very impressed okay if you need to hang like jewelry or anything like that they stuck right on this I don't know if it's like what type of material this is but it's stuck right to it and it didn't fall or anything I'm just kind of deciding what little pieces I want to hang because I have this dead space here and I don't want to waste it so I put my brooches and then you'll see I put my earrings on either side the ones that aren't hoops um, like full circles they're hoops but they don't connect so I can't hang them on the other one on the other piece but I think it turned out so good so now I don't have any wasted space and yeah I'm just showing you guys what the other hoops look like because they fit good over there and now these hoops have a little space which is perfect here is what the jewelry box looked like before I am very very happy with it like I said this is an Amazon favorite for sure I highly suggest it to anyone if you guys have the amount of jewelry that I have or you just want to get it and have room to grow that's also an option I'm gonna go through section by section and show you guys what the final look is what I ended up putting everywhere because you guys know even with the earrings I ended up rearranging everything <laughs> So here is the ring section like I said I was gonna put my studs up here which I think it turned out really really well and I also have room to grow which is nice here is the earring section I'm super happy with the way this turned out I always love seeing those like acrylic ones that people have but I just don't have the counter space for it so this was a great alternative for me and it just looks so good when I open it up it's all sectioned off by color and I do have a few spaces to grow and I will not exceed this if it doesn't fit in this box I'm gonna get rid of it just because I don't have a lot of space and I have a designated area now so that is the rule to keep things organized um, like I said I put all of my little hoops here and yeah it just turned out great next section here was all of the jewelry and like I said don't forget that it needs to be like the looser jewelry that can kind of like 
lay flatter so the door can close. Next step is my choker section, which I definitely have some room to grow, which is nice. And I love that there's a place designated for my chokers so they don't get all mixed in and I know exactly where to find them. In this section, I have my longer necklaces and those little hooks where I was able to hang things. And I am able to hang more than one necklace from each hook, which is nice. So that way I can grow if I want to just a little bit. I honestly don't feel like I need more. I'm probably going to be switching things out and trading things out. Like the rule, if I put one in, I definitely will probably take one out. And then the little hooks for the earrings and my little brooches. Here's another look at my little bracelet roll that turned out so good. And yeah, this one, I'm just, I really love it looks so good and all of my sunglasses are all nice and neat I might be I don't know if I can fit one more with a little hook right here I was trying to think if it would fit that way so I can maximize the space but we'll see I do love sunglasses so I'm already trying to figure out how to stick more in here <laughs> overall I love the way the sunglasses turned out and now I can just go in here and see what I need now in these bottom drawers I'm gonna be putting my backup earring backs and different things like that. I'm gonna put on the screen here a picture of the items that I'm purchasing or that are actually on the way from Amazon. I have a jewelry repair kit and an entire set of earring backs. In this container, I just have like jewelry that I need to get repaired or fixed or one earring's missing. I also wanted to show you guys my favorite Stella and Dot pieces, which one of them is this necklace. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you guys have not heard of Stella and Dot, they are a jewelry company who is expanding to cosmetics and skincare, which is super exciting. But the best part about it is if you guys are looking to earn an extra income or even just a single income at home while we're in quarantine or even when you go back to work, it's a great company you can work for. Not only can you earn extra product, but you can earn extra money. I will leave the info down below for you guys or you guys can DM me on Instagram, but my business email will be down down there you can earn 50% off when you become an ambassador yourself and it which is really really cool and then you can also start earning free product you get bonuses and not only just free product you earn money which is so good especially during these times so let me know girl if you want to join my team so that necklace that I just showed you was one of the free pieces that I got when I joined they always have all kinds of cool incentives for you to join this is one of my favorite bracelets. Most likely, if it's a favorite piece, it's from Stella and Dot, like this one here with the lock. Now they're a little bit more expensive than getting them from, you know, like Amazon or whatever, but the quality is surpasses so much. And I think it's worth it for me, especially when I don't have a lot of space, I prefer quality over quantity. So I will definitely be switching out as I get more Stella and Dot stuff, be switching out some of my, you know, cheapy pieces that I got from like Forever 21 or Target or whatever. And I will be replacing it with things that are, that are going to give me a little bit more longevity. All right, next up are a few of my Amazon favorites. So this bracelet is a chain and it has leopard and gold, which I love. Then a few of these two-tone bracelets are from Amazon, which are my absolute favorite. I love this little chain. It has some like rhinestones on it. Um, these little cuff with the pearls and the rhinestones, these are all from Amazon. These tortoise shell ones are also from Amazon. I love this little heart one. Um, yeah, most of these honestly are from Amazon. I do have a lot, quite a bit. So I will be linking that for you guys down below. Um, into it'll be just one link for all of the jewelry so you'll be able to go there all right you guys I hope you enjoyed my jewelry organization video I had so much fun doing this you guys know I love me some organization so now that everything's set up I can actually start wearing jewelry again I don't know if you've noticed but in all of my videos I'm just like I have nothing because it's like buried underneath everything so now oh, it feels so good I get to wear my jewelry again and I hope this inspired you guys and if you if it did definitely give your girl a thumbs up and consider subscribing and hitting that little bell so you guys don't miss out on anything like I said I'm gonna list everything I can find for you down below and don't forget to answer that question of the day how do you guys store your jewelry if you've made it all the way to the end of this video leave me a diamond ring emoji and let me know that you did thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time I'm always your girl Linda Marie Bye. Sin and